Hello and shalom everybody. As the title suggests, we are talking about front wings. So I've put together my team of WL Toys 144001 cars, which I've added um, some nose gear, you can say, uh, to the cars. Why did I do it? Because I think that uh, something is missing in the front. There's like not complete. So, I'm going to show you how it is easy to create a front wing which also looks good and is a bit effective. Let me disassemble one of them because they work the same and I'll show you how you can do it. Here, I had a fairing made from plastic. It uh, hooks into the two screws that hold the shock tower into the differentials. That uh, You can see those two screws here, screw holes. This piece of plastic is like designed to fit exactly where those two holes go. And then it secures with two screws here to this wing. This wing is a part that you can order from uh, Banggood. I will leave a link in the description. Um, when you buy this wing, which I also have here at the back, you get with the wing this front bracket. What I did is I attached a metal plate that you can see here to the bracket. And there are two screws here for sway bar at the front of the car. This sway bar is not used here. There's no sway bar in this car. So the back plate of the arm hooks into those two screws of the sway bar holder. They have no other job other than hold this piece of plastic that is not being used in the car. So attaching this mounting arm into the metal plate and hooking this metal plate into the sway bar holder is uh, um, allowing me to connect the wing uh, to the arm and create this uh, front wing that improves the traction in the front. This is one of the cars. Uh, the other one, I used the same uh, system, but uh, I wanted to um, create more like a Formula One wing. So what I did is I took the back wing that is originally fitted to the car. Usually it sits here at the back of the car. So obviously I'm not using it here. If you rotate it 180 degrees, and you chop around those lines, cutting out the what is originally the back of the wing, and you can end up with this realistic looking Formula One style wing. I actually smashed both of the cars into the curb already. It is quite uh, strong and rigid. The energy is being transferred to the car and uh, it's quite strong and effective. So, which one do you like better? The one that uses the wing and its support arm? Or this one that uses the support arm and this plastic fairing and a chopped rear wing? Please like, subscribe, it helps me and gives me energy to create more content. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer. Drop me a line. As always, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you and bye.